Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about setting up agreement templates inside of your Successor 21 installation so that your technicians out in the field using SW Remote can sell or renew agreements based on these templates that you've set up in Successware. Now the easiest way to get to the agreement templates is to hit the 21 button, hit customer service and go to the call center. Once the call center loads, uh, you just go ahead and find a customer and go ahead and hit F7. And this will actually load up all of the agreement information there for the customer. So I clicked on the customer, hit F7, and it loaded up here the agreements in front of me. Now, regardless of whether this customer has an agreement or not, that's not pertinent to what we're doing right now. What we're going to do right now is hit uh, New Agreement. And then we're going to go up to Type, and we're going to hit the drop down here, and we're going to see all of the different agreement types that you have active in your system. So with that, you might have sort of a prepaid agreement. You might have something that's a little bit more monthly, whatever it may be. So if you have a, a prepaid agreement, let's talk about working through that as well. So for my prepaid, let's go ahead and say that it is a Platinum Cub agreement. I click Yes, and this is going to go through and bring up my prepaid agreement. So I hit Yes to load up the template. Now I'm going to go through and set up my type, what is covered by it, whether it be maintenance, service, or maintenance and service. I select my term, if it's fixed or perpetual. A prepaid agreement is going to be fixed. So I set fixed, I can select a department, the visits a year, how many years it might be. Uh, for example, this one's going to become a one year. And then I'm going to go up here and be able to change the sale type. You could go ahead for now for setting up the template, just hit a slash and click off of it. And that will automatically fill in that information there for today's date. The dates don't come through when you select a template. It allows you to go through and edit them. So just clicking right past them is fine. And then you can go down here and you could set up whether you're going to use deferred revenue. If you're going to defer the revenue, you would check that off. And if there is an agreement reserve, if you want to use agreement reserve, you could check that off as well. You can go down and select the billing method. For example, mine is going to be prepaid. So this is a prepaid service agreement. I can go down here now. Uh, don't worry about the frequency here as it is a prepaid agreement. If there's going to be tax added to the agreement though, I do want to check off whether or not I'm adding tax. So if you charge tax to your service agreements, you check that off right there. And now you go through and you can dictate how much each of the sections that you have set that it was covered by is going to be included in the agreement. So for mine, I'm going to say it was a maintenance agreement that covers 200. So I'm going to actually switch this back to just maintenance for now. You'll see right here I have a deposit for 200 and then I'm going to go through and defer $200 of it as well because it's going to be deferred for when it was used. So now because I selected as prepaid, deposit comes up. Deposit is how much when the technicians select a service agreement on the device, what's going to be showing up as the amount of the, device, of the agreement. So when a technician selects an agreement out in the field, for example, if they were to select this platinum one, it'll come up automatically showing that there is that it covers three visits, that it was prepaid, that it's a total amount of $200, and that they're collecting $200 of it. That's all the technician does. You in the office still have the ability to schedule the visits, assign any discount to it, assign the equipment to it, do everything that you need to do for the agreement. But when a technician goes out and selects this agreement, those are the fields that come through. So once you're done making sure you have the right information for the agreement template, you go down here and you click Save as Template. And that will now save or overwrite your existing template for that agreement. And that's how you go through and you set up a prepaid. So for example, let's go through now and set up a perpetual one, one that might be a monthly agreement that you then charge monthly for, uh, for as long as they pay it, they are an agreement member. I'm going to hit Undo first to undo this agreement that I've been working on. And now I go down and I hit New Agreement. And this brings me through to now select an agreement type. And for this one, I'm going to go through and select a agreement type here for a one that is perpetual. So right down here, I'm going to go to my to total services agreement. And this one's going to come through. And I'm going to go through and make sure that it's set up as a perpetual agreement. And to do that, I have what the type. I have what is covered by it, maintenance, service, maintenance, service. Again, for me, it's just maintenance. But for your team, it could be anything. I could go down and select my term. Uh, this one's perpetual because it is going to be monthly. And then I can also dictate the department as well as the visits a year. And it's going to cover two visits a year. 
Uh, when I'm setting up a template, I'm just going to click slashes through there to get it through. And now I'm going to come down here and set it up for periodic billing, because that's the monthly. I go down and I choose how often. So if it's only a quarterly or semi-annual or an annual agreement, you can change that. But for this one, it's monthly. And then you can set the bill start date. Again, that's something you could do on any agreement once the technician selects it. They don't actually select the start date. You can go through in the office and set the start date if you'd like to. And now you can go down and set up how much does the deposit. Now a deposit on a perpetual agreement is a little bit different. A deposit is what they collect up front. So for example, maybe they're collecting the first month's payment while they're out there. If that's the case, you can go ahead and set up what the first month's payment is in a deposit. So when the technicians out in the field now select this agreement, they're going to select the total service agreement, they're going to say it's a perpetual agreement, and that there's a deposit of $15 on it, which will require them to collect $15 at the moment of that job. So if you have your tech selecting the first payment, you can go then and do it in a deposit. Also, you could set up a bill amount. Maybe the rest of the months are $15 as well. And by doing that, you will then come through and have a total amount of the agreement coming through as well. So right here we have a deposit of 15 and then we have a bill amount of $15 there as well. And that's how you go through and you select it up. Now a couple things real quick to be, be wary of. If you're charging $15 a month and you're also collecting $15 deposit, then there's really only 11 payments because there's, you've already collected the first month's payment while you were out there. You want to make sure you go through and do this so that the template is saved correctly. Now, that's only if you're collecting a deposit and then you're billing for the rest of the year to get a certain amount for the total amount. You would want to go through and change it. And once you're done, you click Save as Template, and that will save the agreement template or overwrite the existing one. And that's how you go through and set up a perpetual agreement. Now, with the agreements, the one last thing I want to talk about real quick is also going through and naming the agreements. Now remember, the technicians out in the field are going to select agreements based on the, the different agreement types that you have in your office. So one thing to think about is making sure that it's as human readable for them as possible, whether the type or the agreement type. So maybe you have, uh, a for every agreement you have, you might have a diamond club that's perpetual, and then you have a diamond club that is prepaid. And then you have a diamond club two-year, three-year, four-year, whatever it may be. Just make sure that inside of the description, you clearly identify which agreement it is so that when the technician selects the right agreement, all the information pops up in the agreement builder in Successware and all the information pops up on the device so that the tech, all he has to do is select the agreement type, click save, and ultimately save that agreement on the device and then collect however much you have set up in the deposit. And once you're done, that's how you go through. And just make sure you undo any of the agreement work you did with that customer and you can leave the agreements, and that's how you set up agreements for use by the remotes. Any questions for building agreement templates, please reach out to Successware Support. If you have any questions about how the agreement information is displayed on the device, please reach out to the SW Remote Support Team. Thank you, and have a good day.